Well, this looks familiar. Duh, I'm related to myself. What? So I'm not a great driver. Even good might be a stretch, like I never do, which is why my body is so frigid. Like my personality. But I'm an even worse parker. And I'm not bad at parking, I'm not bad at driving, but I'm a sheep, apparently. <laughs> It's because I'm a very nervous driver and I'm an even more nervous parker. I've had a few bad parking experiences. So like just after I got my driver's license, I moved into a flat where like my garage was like at the end of my block. You had to turn at exactly the right point, otherwise you wouldn't fit into the garage. It was a long garage, but it was like very narrow. Like my uterus, I don't have one. So I had two parking. I had a parking outside and then I had the garage. I would normally park outside because I was too shit scared to try and park in the garage. But then, sometimes there were cars on either side of my parking, in which case I'd have to parallel park. But I was so shit scared of parallel parking even more than turning into my garage, I'd at least try and get into my garage. The first few times, like, I actually started getting used to it and whatever, and whatever, and whatever because I'm eloquent. One night I came home, I think it was the first time I was parking in my garage at night, and so I was like, oh shit, okay, let me try. But then in a mixture of nerves, but then also overconfidence, mix those together, you get a very bad combination. It's called confused. And that's a feeling I experience often in my life. And my foot just slams on the pedal, and it just goes vroom, we hear it. It sounded like it was echoing throughout the neighborhood, which is easy because it was a very echoey neighborhood, lots of noises around the place. I sometimes didn't sleep at night, was kind of paranoid. And then I was like, shit, shit, shit. So I get out the car and I look, the piece of the car outside the wheel, it's part of the like metal part, but it's like just above the wheel and it's, it's like, a rainbow apparently. <laughs> or a really awkwardly shaped dude. All the paint had scratched off. <laughs> You'd think, right? Okay, but Matthew, you know, you'd gotten used to like parking in the garage, like this wouldn't be that bad. No, what happens to me when I get used to doing something, when I then have a bad experience, I then think, oh shit, well this is me done. I revert back to step one, <laughs> which is just great. Just another thing about me that's just great. Cut to a year later. The whole weekend I was filming projects for me, for my friends. I was just helping out everywhere. So by Sunday, I was so super tired. I didn't have this mixture of nervous and overconfidence. It was just, I was not there. And this time, I go vroom. It was just like before, except this was even louder. People even came out of their flats to be like, yeah, sorry, just crashed my car. The whole back side door, paint just off, right? Oh, no, the car wasn't a write-off, just the paint was off. I've been so paranoid about having an accident while parking, and I recently got a new car. Well, not like a brand new car, but I recently got a new car. It's really exciting, really cool. I'm really grateful. Where I work, I have to parallel park. Don't mean to brag, but I'm getting quite average. I was doing my parallel parking, doing my thing. It seemed like a tight squeeze, and there's a car behind me that I'm really paranoid about hitting. In this moment, I was like, this feels tight. I'm really paranoid about hitting it. Although normally when something feels tight, you want to hit it. That's what she said. As I get just about straight, okay, again, bad sound effects. I'm not a Foley artist, guys. I'm like, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, except replace gosh with every other swear word. I'm like, okay, no, 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 Matthew, you know, you're freaked out, but just finish parking and then go look. Just breathe, finish parking, and then Go, look, breathe, park, look, breathe, park, look, breathe, park, look, breathe, park, look, and then I crashed into the car in front of me, then reversed back into the car, and then everything just went to hell. No, no, no. I went back, I looked, everything was fine. I was like this far away from the car. I was like, well, well what happened then? Like, both cars were fine, no one had been hit. I look on the floor, it was a plastic bottle that went crunch. Moral of the story, don't litter people, so yeah and my hand just slams on the pedal, my hand just slams on the, my hand just, my hand? It's not my hand. <laughs>